good morning everyone my name is shanti today i am going to discuss about the fundamentals of wireless communication first of all let us know what is meant by communication right communication means transmitting of information from one point to another point or from one source to destination now coming to the wireless communication as we are transmitting the information from one point to another point here we are communicating using a media which is not physically existing wireless specifies um, unguided media we call it as now the basic fundamental concept of wireless communication consists of transmitting the voice and data using electromagnetic waves in open space that is we are having a transmitter and receiver in between we are using the unguided media that is space acts as a medium between the transmitter and receiver now electromagnetic wave specifies which consists of electrical signals and magnetic signals and the signal which we are getting is a perpendicular direction for both electric and magnetic that wave whatever we are representing is termed as electromagnetic waves we call it as uh, traveling at speed of light that is the uh, velocity of light is 3 to 10 power 8 meters per second and has a frequency and wavelength as we know that uh, velocity is the speed of the light can be calculated as frequency multiplied by wavelength higher the frequency means higher the energy photons we call it as the higher the energy photon the more penetrating is the radiation so here all these are directly proportional to each other we can say lambda is equal to c by f as frequency increases wavelength decreases based on that the corresponding velocity of light goes on transmitting now what is electromagnetic spectrum okay electromagnetic spectrum spectrum is a series of information or a series of uh, things that can be transmitted here electromagnetic spectrum specifies a series of frequencies now coming to the uh, diagram whatever you can see on the screen it consists of the radio spectrum microwave infrared ultraviolet x rays and cosmic rays the ranges of uh, frequencies like we have very low frequency low frequency high frequency medium frequency extremely high frequency so these are the ranges that has been given as we are con concerned on the visible light okay if the frequency range is less than 30 kilohertz it is termed as very low frequency and we have certain applications for that and if it is between 30 kilohertz to 300 kilohertz it is low frequency we call it as and 300 kilohertz to 3 megahertz it is medium frequency and 3 megahertz to 30 megahertz it is high frequency 30 megahertz to 300 megahertz it is very high frequency and 300 megahertz to 3 gigahertz it is ultra high frequency we call it as and 3 to 30 gigahertz it is termed as supreme high frequency and the frequency which is greater than 30 gigahertz is termed as extremely high frequency we call it as and the corresponding wavelengths I had mentioned on the screen which is nothing but the electromagnetic spectrum we call it as the visible light range is from 10 power 14 to 10 power 16 as they had given so 1 megahertz is termed as 100 meters 1000 megahertz is termed as 1 meter and 10 gigahertz is termed as 1 centimeter now coming to the uh, screen Google Lemo Marconi is uh, he invented in 1897 radio's ability to provide continuous contact with ships sailing in english channel so he invented that while we are uh, transmitting a continuous contact can be established with the person who is in the ships that is sailing we call it as now based on this they had a specified uh, evolution of mobile radio communication okay so mobile means a two-way communication that exists using space as a medium so generally this mobile communication is specially dealt for voice communication if a person is uh, a far distance from us and if you want to contact that person a voice communication can be established using mobile okay historically the growth of communication field was very slow coupled by technological developments bell laboratories developed concept of wireless communication to entire population in 1960s uh, it is highly reliable miniature solid state frequency hardware wireless era was born in 1970s so if you want to communicate the voice communication can be mainly established by using mobiles so you have different generations of mobile versions like first generation second generation third generation fourth generation as now uh, we are streaming up into fifth generation all these generations specify that 
we are using a mobile for voice communication along with that a data can be transmitted that is internet facilities can also be equipped with this mobile communication we call it as now what is the, how the evolution of uh, communication has been taken up these are the number of years the first commercial deployment has been taken place so initially used to uh, if you see on the screen this is a percentage market per penetration we call it and the number of years after the first commercial deployment we call it as the first they had uh, initially invented the video cassette recorder which can uh, obtain the voice then they had gone through uh, voice cum audio that is television we call it as which is in 1946 after that we had gone through in 1900 they had gone through automobiles and in 1948 cable television under telephone a year of introduction is 1877 now mobile telephone year of introduction is 1946 we call it as from 1946 we are equipped with the mobile communication at the starting i used to use aps transmission we call it as now <coughs> what is mobile radio telephone in the us in 1934 AM mobile communication systems for municipal police radio systems so municipal police radio systems uh, specify that if you want to communicate through the uh, radio channels will be established between two uh, stations where you can communicate using this police radio systems we call it as that is vehicle ignition noise was a major problem we call it as uh, like it is similar to a pager in 1946 FM mobile communication for the first public mobile telephone service each system used a single high power transmitter and large towers to cover distances of over 50 km used 120 kHz of rf bandwidth in the hub duplex mode push to talk release to listen systems so it is uh, similar to a uh, pager we call it as where you can access a half way duplex can be established now uh, let us know what is meant by half duplex okay half duplex mode is nothing but a transmission once the transmission will be established and the twice the reception will be established. that is no two way communication takes place simultaneously so one after the other the information can be transmitted once you transmit after certain instant of time you can receive the information large rf bandwidth was largely due to the technology difficulty in mass product producing tight rf filters and low noise front end receiver amplifiers 1950 the channel bandwidth was cut in half to 60 kilohertz due to improved technology <coughs> by the mid 1960s the channel bandwidth again was cut to 30 kilohertz that's from ww2 into the mid that is world war 2 to the mid 1960s the spectrum efficiency was improved only a factor of 4 due to the technology advancements also in 1950s and 1960s automatic channel trunking was introduced in imts improved mobile telephone service offering full duplex auto dial auto trunking became saturated quickly by 1976 has only 12 channels and could only serve 543 customers in new york city of 10 million populations so during the 1976 it has only 12 channels that can that uh, system can be capable of holding and could only not could only serve 543 customers in new york city of 10 million populations if you observe that in 1950s and 60s what they had done is automatic trunking was introduced that is instead of uh half duplex they had established a full duplex mode that is simultaneous transmission has been possible from 1976 cellular radio telephone developed in 1960s by bell labs and others the basic idea is to reuse the channel frequency at a sufficient distance to increase the spectrum efficiency so channel uh, frequency reuse of the channel specifies that you can ultimately you can use the frequency Uh, number of times that is reuse of channels we call it as that depends upon the number of customers that has been assigned for the basic idea is to reuse the channel frequency at a sufficient distance to increase the spectrum efficiency but the technology was not available to implement until the late 1970s mainly the microprocessor and dsp technologies so dsp technology specifies digital signal processing technologies in 1983 that is amps advanced mobile phone systems deployed by amerit tech in chicago it consists of 40 megahertz spectrum in 800 megahertz band 666 channels can be established that is 543 plus more than that it can be established each duplex channel occupies greater than 60 kilohertz 
that is 30 plus 30 FDMA to maximize the capacity. What is mean by FDMA? Frequency division multiple access as uh, the many users can access the given uh, frequency that is divided into slots. This term as frequency division multiplexing, multiple access we call it as two cellular providers in each market. Now you are having forward channel and reverse channel. So what is mean by forward channel and what is mean by reverse channel? It is similar to uplink and downlink frequencies as we are moving from one point to another point. If you are uh, transmitting the information as you are acting as a source and the other person is acting as a receiver and after that if you are receiving you act as a receiver and the other person acts as a sender. So these are nothing but the reverse channel and the forward channel we call it as. The reverse channel range is 824 to 8. 49 megahertz and the forward channel range is 869 to 894 megahertz we call it as when you are taking the uh, channels you are having the center frequencies center frequencies are given by 0 0.0309 plus 825 so frequency spectrum allocate allocation for the uslr radio systems identically labeled channels in the two band form a forward and reverse channel pair used for duplex communication between the base station and mobile. Now let me know what is mean by base station and what is mean by mobile station. Okay, So base station <coughs> is nothing but several mobile stations are connected to one primary source which acts as a base station. Several base stations are connected to one uh, center, center source which is termed as mobile switching center we call it as. Several mobile switching centers are connected to one uh, center station that is termed as public switching telephone network we call it as. So these are the uh, basic uh, concepts that are assigned with mobile communication. Now uh, in late 1991 US digital cellular USDC IS54 was introduced to replace AMPS analog channels. Three times of capacity due to the use of digital modulation that is differential quadrature phase shift keying, speech coding and TDMA technologies. In the previous we used to use FDMA technology, now it has been extended to TDMA. TDMA uh, is much more advantageous when compared to FDMA. FDMA is assigned for analog communication whereas TDMA is assigned for digital communication. As we know digital communication security will be more and <coughs> Signal to noise ratio will be more for digital communication when compared to analog communication. We are going on preferring this TDMA technologies. Could further increase up to 6 times the capacity given the advancement of DSP and speech coding technologies. In the mid 1990s, code division multiple access was introduced by Qualcomm. Qualcomm company has been introduced this code division multiple access. So, uh, let us know the concepts of multiplexing act, multiple access. Multiple access means many users can access the given source at a time. So, there are different types of accessing techniques. Those are frequency division multiple, multiple access, time division multiple access and code division multiple access we call it as. Coming to the code division multiple access, here you are uh, generating the codes. These codes are termed as pseudo noise generator generates the codes which are termed as pseudo codes we call it as. So these codes will be assigned for each and every individual mobile users. Okay. So uh, no two users will have the same code. And in mid 1990s code division multiple access CDMA was introduced by Qualcomm based on spectrum that is spread spectrum technology we call it as where we generate a code using pseudo noise generators. Each associated with a unique code sequence operates at much smaller signal to noise ratio. So these are the different mobile standards in North America. They are AMPS, NAMPS, USDC, CDF, CDPD, IS95, GSC, POC, SAG, FLEX. DCS, PACs, MIRs, IDEN, these are the different uh, radio systems that has been assigned. So mobile radio systems around the world you have so many types. So here they had given you which type of, uh, which type either it is a cellular or cordless they had been given and which year of interaction they had been done and what type of multiple access technique that has been used and what is the frequency band that is range along with the modulation what are the different types of modulations they had been used and the channel bandwidth if you are, if you observe here they had given you uh, gsm that is a global system <coughs> for mobile communication 
so all these things specify what are the different mobile radio stations around the world so they had given you what are the examples of mobile radio stations so this is nothing but generally what is mean by base station what is mean by channels that is reverse channel forward channel control channels they had been specified these are the basics of mobile communication we call it as now we'll go in detail with each definition now what is mean by base station base station a fixed station in mobile radio system used for radio communication with mobile stations so base stations are located at the center or on the edge of the coverage region and consists of radio channels and transmitter and receiver antennas mounted on a tower so now when you are dealing with a base station so several mobile stations are con- communicated and uh, tracked by one station or one center which is termed as base station we call it as now what is my mobile station mobile station is nothing but a mobile with an antenna that is transmitter and receiver we call it as now control channel radio channels used for transmission of call setup call request call initiation call initiation and other background or control purposes forward channel specifies radio channel used for transmission of information from the base station to the mobile now what is by full duplex systems communication systems which allow simultaneous two way communication that is transmission and reception is typically on two different channels afdd frequency division duplex although new cordless pca systems are using time division duplex we call it as now what is mean by half duplex systems communication systems which allow two way communication by using the same radio channel for both transmission and reception at any given time the user can only either transmit or receive the information now what is mean by hand hand off the process of transferring a mobile station from one channel or base station to another so hand off is a mechanism that uh, generally obtains in mobile communication uh, there are two types of hand off mechanisms they are soft hand off and hard hand off we call it as so the best example is when a mobile station is moving from one base station to another base station that is from its own base station to another base station the call should not get cut off or it should not get um, uh, the performance should be reduced signal to noise ratio should not be reduced so in order to maintain the durability between uh, two base stations you are having hand off mechanisms we call it as soft hand off specifies before break it makes the information and then breaks so no in no interference or no distortion takes place while you are dealing with soft hand off mechanism hard hand off mechanism specifies that break before make concept we call it as it means before and before it has been establishing a contact between two base stations the call may get terminated or the call, call may get disturbed so mobile station means what so hand off means the process of transferring a mobile station from one channel or base station to another now what is mobile station a station is a lr radio service intended for use while in motion at unspecified locations mobile stations may be handheld personal units at portables or installed in vehicles mobiles so what is mobile switching center switching center which coordinates the routing of calls in large service area in cellular radio system mobile switching center connects the cellular base stations and the mobiles to public switching telephone and msc is also called mobile telephone switching office now what is mobile page a brief message which is broadcast over the entire service area usually in a simulcast fashion by many base stations at the same time now what is mean by reverse channel radio channel used for transmission of information from mobile to base station so forward channel specifies from mobile station from base station to mobile station whatever you are transmitting and from base st- mobile station to base station it is termed as reverse channel we call it as now what is mean by roamer a mobile station which operates in a service area other than that from which the service has been subscribed so uh, as we you know you if you go through a uh, mobile communication we'll use roaming charges if you are using if you are moving from your own location to other locations some amount of information has to be some amount of uh, price has to be maintained in order to communicate the network signals so that is nothing but roamer we call it a mobile station which operates in the service area other than that from which service has been subscribed 
simplex systems communication is important only one way communication is termed as simplex systems subscriber a user who pay subscription charges for using a mobile communication system subscriber is nothing but who pays the charges and who you uh, utilizes the information that has been communicated trans receiver a device which is capable of simultaneously transmitting as and receiving the radio signals it is termed as trans receiver we call it as now examples of mobile radio systems that is classification of mobile radio transmission system there are uh, different uh, transmission systems they are simplex half duplex and full duplex now what is meant simplex is communication will be in only in one direction that is one way traffic is the best example for simplex only you can transmit or you only you can receive only one thing will be done half duplex specifies the same radio channel which is used for both transmission and reception but not simultaneously after one the other can be performed which is termed as half duplex we call it as push to talk then what is meant by full duplex simultaneous radio transmission reception that is you are transmitting and receiving at the same time frequency division duplex time division duplex we call it as now what is meant by frequency division duplexing so fdd uses two radio channels that is forward channel and the reverse channel as we know what is meant by forward channel from base station towards the mobile user whatever the main service center of the base station is transmitting the information towards the mobile it is termed as forward channel reverse channel means from mobile user towards the base station whatever we are communicating is termed as reverse channel we call it as time division duplexing shares a single radio channel in time uh, they had given you uh, the diagram from the base station if the information is transmitted towards the mobile user it is termed as forward channel they had given in the figure in order to uh, get an idea in order to understand better from mobile station towards the base station it is termed as reverse channel we call it as now in fdd what we are doing is a device called the duplexer is used inside the subscriber unit to enable the same antenna to be used for simultaneous transmission and reception to facilitate frequency division multiplexing duplex it is necessary to separate the xmit and received frequencies by about 5% of the nominal or a frequency so that duplexer can provide sufficient isolation while being inexpensively manufactured in tdd time division duplex only possible with digital transmission format and digital modulation very sensitive to timing consequently only used for indoor or small area wireless applications <coughs> now what is meant by paging systems conventional paging system sends brief messages to a subscriber modern paging systems news headlines stock quotations facts etc simultaneously broadcasting broadcast paging message from each base station simulcasting large transmission power to cover wide area you see they had given you in the diagram public switching telephone network which consists of paging control center you are having paging terminals from city 1 city 2 city 3 all these are uh, landline linked with the public switching telephone network these paging terminal will get the information using a satellite link that is transmitter and receiver <coughs> cordless telephone systems or full duplex communication systems first generation cordless phone it is in home use communication to dedicated base unit few tens of meters second generation cordless telephone that is outdoor combined with paging system few hundred meters per station so tens of meters whereas second generation they had gone through few hundreds of meters per station you are having public switching telephone network and the fixed port that is base station and the wireless uh, wireless link is established between a mobile station and the base stations is nothing but cordless telephone system we call it as it it works under the full duplex mode that is both transmission simultaneous transmission reception is possible using cordless telephone lines now cellular telephone system it provides a connection to the public switching telephone network for any user location within the radio range of the system it what are the characteristics of this cellular telephone system is large number of users can use large geographical area will be there limited frequency spectrum reuse of the radio frequency by the concept of cell we call it as
basic cellular system consists of mobile station base station and the mobile switching centers So communication between the base station and mobiles is defined by a standard common air interface. Forward voice channel which is nothing but voice transmission from base station to mobile station. Reverse voice channel is voice transmission from mobile station to base station. Forward control channels and reverse control channels we call it as. So initiating a mobile call from base station to mobile is termed as forward control channels. Initiating mobile call from mobile station to base station is called as reverse control channels we call it as. Now how a cellular telephone call is made? Mobile switching centers you have base station and mobile station. So under the mobile stations you are having uh, forward, uh, forward channels and the reverse channels we call it as. So you are having the voice channels and the control channels. Uh, receiving by the page I had given you how uh, information will be how a cellular phone telephone call will be made. So it consists of mobile station, base station and the mobile switching centers. If you see the figure you can understand it. Receiving a call, initiation request and uh, what are the different stations that has been class marked. Begin voice transmission like that. So now <coughs> these are the concepts that has been established. It consists of uh, reverse voice channel, forward voice channel, reverse control channel and forward one control channels. So the name itself specifies that we are utilizing the entire information not to transmit. So voice communication is basically established with this. So wireless communication generally it is used for voice transmission and data transmission. So first generation, second generation, third generation, fourth generation and now whatever we are using the fifth generation standards we call it as. So these are the basics of mobile communication. Uh, in this uh, session i think you are able to understand the definitions right what are the basic definitions for mobile station mobile communication one second i will uh, show you again what are the basics of mobile communication where the one second So these are the station, mobile station that is base station, control channel, forward channel, full duplex systems, half duplex systems, handoff, mobile station, mobile switching center, page, reverse channel, roamer. So if you understand these uh, systems like you are having a mobile station, base station, uh, several mobile stations are connected to base station. Mobile station is nothing but a mobile with a transmitting and receiving antenna. And uh, base station is a group of uh, mobile stations will be combined and connected to base station. Several base stations are connected to mobile switching center. These mobile switching centers are connected to public switching telephone network. So uh, it's better to understand the concept. This concept depends upon the uh, systematic availability of these examples like these are the examples of mobile radio systems once again I am repeating this a base station is a fixed station in mobile radio system used for radio communication with mobile stations base stations are located at the center or on the edge of the coverage region and consists of radio channels and transmitter and receiver antennas mounted on a tower control channel Radio channel used for transmission of call setup, call request, call initiation and other beacon or control purposes. Forward channel, radio channel used for transmission of information from the base station to mobile station. Full duplex system, communication systems which allow simultaneous two way communication. Transmission and reception is typically on two different channels. FDD although new cordless PCS systems are using TDD. Half duplex systems, communication systems which allow two way communication by using the same radio channel for both transmission and reception. At any given time, the user can only either transmit or receive the information. Handoff the process of transferring a mobile station from one channel or base station to another. Mobile station, a station in the cellular radio service intended for use while in mo motion at unspecified locations. Mobile stations may be handheld per personal units, portables or installed in vehicles. 
मोबाइल स्विचिंग सेंटर स्विचिंग सेंटर्स विच कोऑर्डिनेट द रूटिंग ऑफ कॉल्स इन ए लार्ज सर्विस एरिया इन सेलर रेडियो सिस्टम्स एम एस सी कनेक्ट्स सेल आर बेस्ड स्टेशन एंड मोबाइल्स टू द पी एस टी एन एंड एम एस सी इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड मोबाइल टेलीफोन स्विचिंग ऑफिस एंड वी नो द वॉट इज मीन बाई रिवर्स चैनल एंड फॉरवर्ड चैनल देन सब्सक्राइबर मीन्स हू पेज द सब्सक्रिप्शन चार्जेस फॉर यूज ऑफ मोबाइल कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम्स ट्रांस रिसीवर ए डिवाइस केबल साइमटेनियसली ट्रांसमिटिंग एंड रिसीविंग द सिग्नल्स सो थैंक यू